Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft, and welcome to today's video, video 52, I think. Anyway, it's a few updates. First of all, you'll remember if you're returning to my channel that when I got back from holidays, I received some happy mail, mystery happy mail, because I didn't know who it was from. Well, I've since found out. My lovely red heart ombre, the two skeins, big balls, actually, I received through Amazon came from Sherry at Sherry's Bag of Holding, a small YouTube channel. She did contact me before I went away saying that I had been awarded a random act of kindness and she would send me something small from her channel. That's a draw she does quite regularly. When she said she'd send me something small, I was expecting like stitch markers or something. She blew me away sending me two big skeins of red heart ombre all the way to Australia. Sherry, it's really appreciated. I love the colour and I can't thank you enough. Guys, I've been following her channel for a while. I like her seeing what she's cooking. She always gives me some ideas and her crochet work and her healing candles. She likes healing candles. So if you feel you need a bit of healing, you can contact Sherry and she'll put your name on her healing candle. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. Please check her out and subscribe. It is a small channel and it'd be nice to see it grow. And that is such a lovely random act of kindness. Thanks, Sheree, for letting me know. So the other update. Um, quite a few subscribers have asked me what's happening with Emma. So I thought I'd do a bit of an update. I'm probably going to have to read a lot of it out because I can't remember and at the end of this video, there'll be a bit of a photo montage of Emma having treatment and having some fun. So on the 19th of September, while I was away, Emma and her mum flew out to the USA. They're staying in Detroit with an Australian family who has a child who has similar disabilities to Emma. And the treatment is in Chicago. So on the 22nd of September, Emma had her first treatment in Chicago. I have to read this out because I'd never remember. She received a combination of 30 million core blood stem cells, 635 billion enzymes and 3 million MSCs derived from Wharton's jelly. She received them via lumbar puncture, nasal spray and IV. Now, if you're curious as to what that all means, I suggest you Google it because there's no way it'd take me forever to go into it all. There's a picture of Emma and Dr. Tom Loeb the, who performed the procedure. The procedure was a little stressful on Emma, but with the sleep meds, they kicked in pretty quick and she slept the four hour drive home. I don't think Doreen will be driving again to Chicago. She found it fairly stressful. Where we live, traffic's not as heavy as I imagine it is over there. She did, Emma did recover quickly. She regained her appetite for pasta and chocolate. So she's still a happy little girl. There's a break between the second and first treatment. So during the break in recovery time, oh no, sorry, after the treatment, she had some time with Nico at Cerebral Body. Nick is a pediatric therapist with extensive experience in NDT and Therosuits. He assessed Emma and the, for the impact of dystonia has on her functional abilities while applying some therapy. There's some photos of that too after this video. So after all that, there's recovery time. And during recovery time, they went up in a Ferris wheel. And this was thanks to Jeannie of Jeannie's Creations who donated the money for the ride. Um, this photo is that. The smile on Emma's face is unbelievable. So thank you once again, Jeannie. I will leave a link in the description below to Jeannie's channel. Please check her out. Her act of kindness was greatly appreciated. Emma went to check out the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit. She had plenty of fun activities for kids and great exhibitions for everyone. But before they went to the Henry Ford Museum, they had to get some donuts. Emma is donut mad. So they stopped off and got fresh donuts from the Krispy Kreme bakery. More photos of that. On Saturday, Emma joined her friend Dawn 
at South Lion Pumpkin Fest where they sold fundraising chocolates for Emma's Quest as well. Emma had a ball, even though the weather wasn't great. More photos to follow. They then went on a road trip to Niagara Falls with friends and just picked as a priceless Emma's face and they went across the border into Canada. So they've had some fun while waiting for the second lot of stem cell treatment. Now, keeping Emma entertained can be expensive, but Emma loves a Christmas tree. So they went to Bronner Christmas Wonderland where she got to look at Christmas trees till her heart's content <coughs> and she had a ball. So in summary, we didn't raise the full $40,000 required for the stem cell treatment. Um, Doreen took out a personal loan because we plan to fundraise the rest of the money in the meantime and when she gets back to pay off the personal loan. Um, I'm hoping to have a fundraising stall at our next local market. I have been making some small quick sale items and other things that I'll show in a video closer to the market. So wish me luck that I raised a bit of money because that will go to what we call Emma's Quest. Um, if you're wanting to follow Emma, they do have a Facebook page called Emma's Quest and Doreen does post photos and things quite often on there. So you can check that out. Hopefully I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video again. So guys, stay tuned. Check out the photos. They're really great. It's good to see that Emma recovered from the first round of stem cell treatment really quickly and that her appetite's back. And yeah, thanks to Jeannie for the first wheel ride. She really loved it. So until next time, take care of each other and have a crafty day. Bye for now.